Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of cameras for getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> see a movie or something like that, go out to eat. Yeah. Uh, play some uh, Halo. Yeah, play some Halo. <laughs> <laughs> so just hang out at the at the house, just play some on the Xbox or something like that. You know, you don't always have them. You don't realize how much they care, how much they mean for you and until you're actually there. You don't have to see them every day. And then once you come back, it, it's it's like you, you just want to hold them all the time because you, you, don't, you weren't able to for a good six months. Spider jets you see on TV and stuff like that, then you have the, the crawlers, which deal with satellite imaging and all that other stuff, and then you have um, E2s in there. And at this time, we're going to call for the champion of the end itself, the Green Knight. The Green Knight is with us. Come for Green Knight, step forward, be recognized by his majesty the king.
I can't count how many times I told you that I'll be there for you. Every single moment. And I drove this way last night. Just to ask you. <laughs> Is that a yes? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, man. I couldn't talk for a second. <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> God, you look gorgeous, baby. Hey, Matt, are you surprised? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. 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 Chase, I think somebody rang the doorbell. Let's see who it is. Captain America. How are you? Good. Happy birthday. Thanks. Cole, did Captain America come to your house? Nice to you. No way. Cameron, nice to meet you. Really? Are you his mother? I am. I am mommy. Who's nice this? What's you. your name? Chase. Chase. I'm Chase? I'm Captain America. Where's your daddy? Uh, daddy. Dad. Yeah. Where's your daddy at? Is your daddy here? Chase, where's that? Or Cole, where's daddy? In Afghanistan. He's in Afghanistan? Let's go, team. Let's go, team. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mommy's going to get breakfast. Do you want him to stay or go? Yeah. Stay. You do? Okay. Yeah. You guys should take your hats off so we can eat breakfast. That's why I keep this part of my mask open so I can eat without taking my mask off. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. So good. He's up on the table. Chase. Is that your daddy? Daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Daddy. daddy. <laughs> Tried to make it home for your birthday. I missed it by a couple days. Sorry. Birthday. Birthday. Yeah. What's wrong? You don't think it's me? Yeah, I didn't. You didn't know it was me? No. <laughs> 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 Fooled you. Was that a fun birthday present? Is it fun? Are you okay? Are you sure? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd she go?
I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in here. I'm here with Courtney Fuquay. She is the wife of Army Staff Sergeant David Fuquay, who is currently serving in his fourth tour of duty in Operation United Assistance. I'm also here with his two daughters, Kylie and Alina, and his two nephews, Jacob and Jeremy. They're here for a very special birthday celebration. Well, your dad and uncle wanted to send you guys a very special birthday message. Let's take a look. Hey kids, I wanna wish you an early happy birthday from Monrovia. I wish I could be there with you to celebrate, but I can't. My special friend, Rocky, has brought you guys some birthday presents. Well, you guys heard him. Let's head to center court. We got some birthday gifts that Rocky wants to pass out. Are you ready? All right, Rocky, let's take them over. Team signed basketball, that is awesome. What about you, Miss Kylie? Oh, it's Olaf on one. What's that, Rocky? One? Of course you have one more gift. What do you got, Rocky? Our Rebecca Medina joins us now live from Tampa International Airport, where it all went down earlier today. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Wendy. I have to say that I've covered a lot of these reunions as a journalist, many right here at Tampa International Airport, but this one was really special for me. It's the first time in a long time that I have personally been brought to tears, and this particular reunion and you'll see why, actually gave me chills. Okay, I don't see her. Carol Howard anxiously waited at the gate to the American Airlines terminal at Tampa International Airport, counting the minutes before she'd see her daughter's face, before she'd hold her again for the first time in 16 months. There she is. Then the doors to the shuttle opened, and out came the young woman Carol calls a scrapper, private first class Cassandra Lewis, and Carol couldn't wait any longer. After 16 months of emails and phone calls, this mom really knows her baby is okay. And for the soldier's little brother who's following in her footsteps, this moment is his reassurance he's making the right decision as he deals with being deployed in December. You ready to go home? Then in the midst of the tears, the relief and the joy, came the voice of an angel. Marcus, listen to the song they're playing. But where was the voice coming from? Nine-year-old Aaliyah Ocasio, the granddaughter of a Korean War veteran, told me that was the least she could do to say Welcome home, soldier. She's helping our country and all that. And I'm really proud of that, and I like that. But before I joined the Army and before I deployed it, it was a song like, you know, it was our national anthem. But then once you, once you truly fight for it and you, you do lose battle buddies and you do, you do go through some rough times in war, then you, you learn to, you, the song means so much more. So much more to this family of soldiers whose sacrifice can truly never be repaid. And Private First Class Lewis is not done just yet. She'll be redeployed in January. This time she'll be headed to Afghanistan. Her baby brother will be headed to Iraq in December. Their mom tells me that the next year or so is going to be filled with a lot of worry and a lot of fear, but she said mostly with a lot of pride. We're live at Tampa International Airport tonight. Rebecca Medina, ABC. Happy birthday! Wow.